I think of myself as the pH test for trust. If you don't trust me, then you probably don't fucking trust anybody. That's kind of how I... <laughs> what? And, and I should uh, I should leave Steven's orbit because it's... Uh, in, for, for, in, some, in some way bad for Lav if I stay. Did he leave my orbit for Lav? Me, you say. Yes. Or, well, I'm so confused. Why? What is the... Because I'm supposed to set a f***ing example for you. Holy shit. You're going to make me kill myself. What? How is he crying? What's happened? Did I miss something? You don't have to leave. <laughs> so, I was thinking, uh, that first, that first conversation, I started working out, like, okay, shit, so this feels like part of an ad for her OnlyFans. And then I was watching you, and then I was like, I was like, this is amazing. This is good. Because, like, you hear so much about women, um, men, men, somehow there's a narrative that, like, the thing that makes men like pornography is that they hate women. They like women getting abused and and violated and watching them be uncomfortable. And, like, I'm, like, all the things that I was raised to, like be turned off by in porn. I couldn't figure it out when I was a kid. I was like, wow, I was like, why is porn so unpleasant? Then it was like, oh no, it's supposed to be unpleasant. You're supposed to enjoy that she doesn't want to be doing this. That's the porn, that is it. So then I was, so then I was thinking about like the way you talk about yourself and like your addiction and blah, 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 blah. And um, I'm saying blah, 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 because I don't, I don't want to. Uh, Put words in my mouth, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, Wait, what? And I was like, is this like, is this a business model where men get so mad at you? And then you're like, I have mixed feelings about, like, I don't know about sex work. I have mixed feelings about it. And then they're, they're like, I'm going to get her back by giving her $10. I'll show her. It, it really feels like you're the first porn creator that I've that I know of I think that has misogyny be part of what you're doing you're you're aware of it and you're seemingly maybe monetizing it well not anymore okay Okay, all those guys, all those conservatives who hate AOC, they'd pay a lot to see her naked. <laughs> oh my sure, God. I think that you're you're characterizing this in a way where I never, um, and this is always <clears throat> the problem was like this was never, its intent. Oh, I was don't never there. I know, I don't. I'm not misogyny. I, I will exist in misogyny whether I acknowledge it or not. Like, men will hate jack off to me, whether I acknowledge it or not. Um, that's not a sentence most, that's not a sentence I've ever heard anybody say. Most, I think most porn creators say, would say something the, uh, the opposite of that I feel like most people wouldn't say that that's not a normal thing to have said is it Why? I don't know I it's normal to me well, I know but I'm to, okay so I'm saying are you saying that, are you saying that I'm wrong or are you saying I'm wildly introspective <laughs> I can't I can't tell you're not like ascribing a tone if this is like a negative or a positive or not I guess I'm not pretty neutral all I'm trying to lay out is my understanding of your relationship to misogyny, your relationship to the audience, and my thought process that's been going on since we met. Yeah, all those months ago. You're asking me to judge you. Yeah, I feel uncomfortable. I'm asking you to give me a way to feel. No. <laughs> Fair. I'm not trying to judge you anymore. Ever. 
Yeah. Anymore. Oh, shit. Even back then, it was it, a lot of it was like, I feel like you're somehow using me to self-harm. And I... I felt like I have to somehow stop you from doing that. Um... I think this is a better way. Okay, so... Better for both of us. Better for everybody. But better for you. Okay. So, yeah. You're self-harm um, right now. <laughs> what'd you say? I said You're I'm using you to self-harm right now. You think so? <laughs> In some ways, maybe. How so? Um... I think you're using me to self-harm in some ways. How do you think you're using me to self-harm? Massive GOP red wave. Insane red wave coming. Democrats are freaking out. Democrats panic over blowout loss. Governor admits they're being destroyed by GOP. <laughs> oh no. Jesus. I think we're both using each other to self-harm in the yes. same way. Specifically, how do you in think? In the same way. Using, okay. How do you think you're using self-harm? And self I think it's because we both have Okay. Uh, how do I'm you think you're let, using me to self-harm? This feels like a trap. This feels like a trap because then you want me to like I'm scared that you're going to pull out the rug from under me if I'm if I'm too vulnerable with you. So I'm trying to make it about us. I know, but if if you think I'm allowing you to self harm, I don't feel harm, safe. I can see that, but if you think I'm harming you or allowing you to self harm with me, then that's something I have to like think about and like. Well, work I don't on. want you to take. I, well, I don't want you to take away my means of self harm, so I'm not going to tell you. I don't think our relationship has to be harmful to you. Hmm. No, I don't. I don't think it is. I I don't think our relationship is at all. I think that if it comes to the people that are that I'm self-harming the least online Hold with, on you are one of them. That. But I think the act of being online and being like an exhibitionist with my feelings online is self-harm. Self okay, that may be true, but... Um, well, yeah, that's why when you said it would be, this is a cool conversation I have. We were, we were DMing about misogyny, so this is a cool conversation I have. And I was like, I need you to be really explicit about if you're trying to like do a stream with me or not. Because yeah. uh, I, I, I don't think I should propose streams with you. <laughs> well, I don't think I should propose them with you. <laughs> I know. So we should probably, probably shouldn't be doing this. That's because you're confused, though. Oh, you think so? I'm confused now. Why do you think I'm confused? Because of our roles. You're supposed to show up uninvited. Uh, whenever you want. And then I'm supposed to... Hold on one sec, sorry. I'm not um, even listening right now. I hope it's fun. some pizza. For I hope that. you're enjoying it. <laughs> you know? I'm yeah. not supposed to show up... I'm not supposed to show up at your place uninvited, though. That's not... That's backwards. Wait, hello? Hi. What's up? Um, well, two things. The first one is I'm like physically in pain by watching that interview. Um, but the second one is I kind of wanted to talk to you about like Annalisia. Like I have some questions or like some things I've been just thinking in my mind. So I just want to run them by you and see what your thoughts are. If that's cool with you? Um, yeah, if you want to. Yeah, okay. So basically... Is this going to be like me having to steal man her positions while you ask me what she could possibly be thinking about a particular thing? No, it's not. It's actually um, me thinking about, like, your community's, like, reaction to her. Um, and, like, how, I guess, like, valid and invalid it is in some ways. Or maybe it's not. That's why I'm asking you. Because obviously you know your community more than I do. Uh-huh. Um, so I remember, maybe this is like too long ago, but like afterwards you were talking with Ava and you guys were talking about how the way that she came across was very aggressive and that's probably why people don't like her. Um, 
But then I was thinking about it, and I feel like there has been like other really aggressive characters that have come on before, but maybe I'm wrong, that have garnered a positive reaction for being off the fucking wall and just like crazy. I'm so sorry. Give me like, just fuck me. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> um. Um. Oh. Did something happen? Do I have to go? <laughs> no, no, no. You're, <laughs> you're fine. Um. Hold. On. Can we? Can you check your messages real quick? Just one second. Yeah. Sure. I responded. <clears throat> okay. I suck at doing... I get like, I do all my DMs in the morning and then all of them build up for the entire day and then I look and sometimes they're important but I don't respond to anything until 10 o'clock. It's fucking right. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, let me get a, I'm, let me, I'm re-zapping my brain. Let me get a soy soy real quick and then we'll go. Give me 10 seconds, count to 10, hold on. Sounds good. Hi, chat. <laughs> okay, I'm my brain is here. Hi. Okay. Sorry. Let's rewind. Ask me again. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so basically, I was saying that um. You know, after the whole like Annalisa conversation, you and Abba were talking and like, I remember you guys mentioning something like, oh, she just came across as really aggressive. She mm -hmm. came across as really strong, but I feel like you've had, and correct me if I'm wrong, because obviously I don't know. And that's why I'm here asking mm -hmm. is that you've had like very strong male characters come in the past that have been received with like, you know, a bunch of like LOLs or like not hate basically because they're so funny and off the wall. Right. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, so then it seems to me like it doesn't really matter. Um, or I guess maybe like this is a, might be a sexism issue, question mark? Because if that's the case, I feel like Anna, although I agree that like everybody who stays in too long eventually gets like a jerk and counter jerk and like people hate them. Like, I guess there is a clear sexism component then of people who um, liked LTG, but hated Anna. Um, but it didn't think like Anna was a lol, or should have treated Anna as a lol cow instead. If they think the reason why what LTG said was okay was because it was funny. Yeah. Does that make sense? That's what I would say. Yeah. That's my inkling. But it's very hard to know because one, it's asking me to divine other people's um, motives. But it's also hard for them to know because if they are being sexist, they're not going to be able to introspect on it without a lot of work. So, it's a challenging thing. Okay, and I guess just the second thing is so that we're clear, like. Do you think LTG is more racist than Anna? I am not comfortable calling either one racist because, like, it's it's just it's really complicated, like interracial sentiments. And I don't know if I would I don't know if it's fair to just say somebody's racist. I think it gets more complicated than that. Okay, well, that was basically it because I was just not sure if how your community was or if they reacted to that way to people before, and that's mm -hmm. basically it. Okay. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, Bye. have fun. Be careful. Bye. More comfortable in the maternal role. I think this I is why it's making me so uncomfortable. Yeah, I totally like, understand. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to be parented. I know. I've. It's never worked before. Yes. <laughs> I could live without it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess. I've made it this far. I feel very comfortable in the maternal role. I. I oftentimes take the maternal role. I think there are probably degrees of comfort that you have never experienced. So, wow, deep. 
true. I, I, I believe what you're saying. Relatively. Well, I think, I don't think that that's true. I think that especially like in my close relationships, like my relationship with my fiance, mm. he is a hundred percent my caretaker. Like that's he good. feels like, he feels well, like my dad. I don't know if that's good, but that's nice. It's good for me right now. Mm-hmm. It's something that we'll have to work through throughout a relationship, I think, but it's what I needed. It's what I needed in the first three years of our relationship, certainly. Yeah. Um, but but having sex with your dad is <laughs> complicated. Hot. <laughs> it can it can be hot, but it's also um, complicated. That's why that's why Destiny I need hates to being in a caretaking role. Anymore. I can <laughs> the so the worst thing is that um, um I can I can do caretakers. This is weird, but I can be a caretaker for people I don't have any obligations to. <laughs> That's it. Like if it's like a random person who's like, oh, I need somebody to help me. Blah blah. Okay, yeah, sure, I can do that. No problem. Yeah, what do you need? Um, but for like relationships and shit, I I, I won't do that. Cause just because I don't want to feel like I'm somebody's dad. I don't want to feel like I'm dating my daughter. Or um, it's just not. I don't like that. Yeah, I hate that. I hate hey 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 being put in that role. Um, yeah. So if it's like random people online, no problem. Because it's like, if I'm getting tired of it, I can always just disconnect very quickly, very easily. It's like, okay, bye. Um, but for relationships, I don't think I can, um, I don't think I can do that long-term. It'll drive me fucking insane. feel that way with the dark triad girl um why well, wasn't ever in a relationship with that person yeah yeah okay uranium 238 my crack how do we get that That's what my therapist here? called it i think heroin is a little more glamorous though crack is a little ghetto yeah um but yeah i'm not i'm not your kid i'm your mom Okay. Uh, I hear you. You're very uncomfortable. Okay, so, so, yeah, so it felt like there was a um, an acknowledgement of uh, misogyny directed at you. Um, I said I, re- I referenced the cannonball thing to say that it it seems like sometimes if you feel like there's going to be misogyny directed at you, you will provoke it or um, try to control it. And not Certainly. not consciously, but it, yeah, but maybe consciously. Probably not, though. Um, you can be pretty annoying. However, um, I've screamed at you. People still are are copying me saying "shut up, oh, Lav." To, I'm to this, well aware. To this day, yeah. Um, um, it haunts my dreams. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you happy about that? Um, I can't conceal that I'm happy about it, so I'm going to have to say you have yes. contributed to a misogyny that has been levied against <laughs> me. Yes. For months now. Yes. And you're happy about it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm building a rocket thing. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm getting any Father of the Year awards <laughs> for that. <laughs> um, what am I watching this for? Somebody said I was watching this for misogyny in, in my community. If father, I'd not have any quarters. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, that's my ego, I guess. That's yeah. what you're just go two x. It gets wild. Yeah. Um, Does it really get wild? So there's an I've hour been, and a half I've been of reading, this left. Uh, Stephen. Oh shit, my name. AKA Destiny. Uh, 
I've been reading Steven's subreddit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. They're talking about you Good quite stuff. a bit. Good <gasps> stuff in there. Good stuff. You want to talk about self-harm? Hours. Yeah. yeah. Hours yeah. spent. Yeah, I know. I read it, and I think about you reading it while I'm reading it. Yeah. There seems to be a um, perception that you don't have feelings. What? Or that they don't matter. Okay. Yeah, definitely that they don't matter. I mean, they know, like, I have feelings, right? Yeah. Because I bring it up. Because I beg, I beg for them to see me. I beg for Steven to see me. I'm like, please, I'm, like, emotional. I have feelings. Please consider my feelings. So they know I have them. They just don't care. Why do you think that is? Could be wrong. I think that misogyny is levied against all women. I think there is a special place <clears throat> for attractive women. Oh, Jesus. And where I sit on the attractive misogyny totem pole is very high. Um, I think that these men <laughs> want to disregard me because I'm attractive in a way that they don't want to do with other creators that come on. I think that I'm annoying, sure. Um, but I think that there's an aspect of my sexuality that is involved in why they can dehumanize me. It feels good to hate someone attractive. I've dealt with this before, like either jealousy or unattainability. This is what like builds vitriol. Like we've all felt this with celebrities. Women feel this with each other a lot. Okay. Like, oh, this, this girl is so hot. I hate that she's, that her life, that she's also rich or I hate that she's also all these things. Um, and I think if you add sexually frustrated men, which I would, I would, um, that's say definitely that the DGJ community. A lot of his oh, audiences. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I think that that is a big part of why it has blown up to the extent it has. Absolutely. You can tell because they're always bringing up how attractive I am. True. Constantly. True. You you search the subreddit and it's like she's it 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 constantly every criticism of me or maybe 70% of the criticisms bring up my attractive, my, how attractive I am and how everyone must have been a yes man to me. I've gotten everything I've wanted because of, of how attractive I am. It's in 70% of the criticism. This isn't just me making it out, like out of nowhere. I'm not tooting my horn that much. I don't think I'm the most attractive woman in the world, but it's in, it's in the pudding. It's like they're writing these things. This feels like a fairly um, guarded answer, which is okay. You think but I, I do. I think no, it is a lightning stop. rod answer. What are you guys doing? I think um, there's over a hundred in here. If we talk about why are they still going? I think that it's likely that some parts of this will be watched by mm -hmm. Stephen subreddit. Yeah, I'm sure a lot. When of it's it less than one hundred. Okay. It's more and than I think 100. That there's some And it's okay if you want to do this. I'm not trying to take this away from you. No, you're doing you're doing uh you're doing damage control for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why are they why is it still yeah. putting it in? You're welcome. <laughs> uh you don't have to thank me. I'm just <gasps> Oh, oh my god, I just realized these I aren't connected. I think that you want to you want I think it's a little safer for you if you get to write the headlines. So Lav seriously thinks fuck. that we hate her because she's attractive and not because she's a dumb fuck who can't follow a fucking conversation and who's racist and says things yeah. that makes no sense and can't admit, can't take feedback. That's yeah. a big one. Steven said that she was wrong and she can't admit that she was wrong. She's been, it's been decided that she's wrong. Yeah. She contradicts herself. Okay. So I feel like if you get to, if you get to 
control that then probably hurt less than if you ju- if you're if you answer the question in like a more vulnerable way and then they still just shit on you for some unforeseen reason they will still shit on you i don't think it matters Regardless, what you say yes. i will it, no matter what i say i don't think it matters no, no it doesn't obviously uh this is coming from a very personal place for me as well yeah we know um you're the one who told me that you made me leave I made you leave the orbiter yeah you made me quit being an orbiter yeah what do you mean I made you well, I had to after that conversation. What conversation? Our stream together. When what do you, you mean co-hosted. You had to. Cuz I was right? Yeah. Yeah. You were right about me. Yeah. And then I saw your video of uh I wasn't going to force it as much. I was going to I was trying to figure out uh there was no compromise. There's no way to compromise. People keep saying, like, why don't you just DM Steven privately? And then, but it's like, that doesn't fix it. That's Impossible. not the problem. It has to be fixed in public or else, I mean, if it gets out, I imagine if it got out, that I DM'd him privately and asked him to be nicer to me. No fucking thank you. So it had to be done in public. And then, yeah, I saw your stream about your, your, your diary entry about your feelings. And, and then it was like, well, now I, now I have to do this. Yeah, either it has to change or I have to leave. It became untenable to stay. Wow. Yeah. True. Okay. Um, so do you want to give a a less uh, abrasive, protective answer? Yeah. If you um, want to, if you don't want to, that's totally fine. I just, I just want to. I, no, I, I will. I mean, it, nothing. Nothing I do will change anything, so I might as well be vulnerable. Well, um, no, I don't know. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's true because if you're, yeah, if you're gonna get hit, why would you want to get hit in the fucking stomach if you can get hit in the shoulder instead? But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the point is. I don't know what the point of all this is. Y- yeah. um, but I want you to tell the. Tr- I do want you to tell the truth. It's hard to, um, I think it's hard to discern why all the vitriol, because I Holy feel like I feel. have mm. uh, been killing myself trying to internalize all the criticism. Um, in change. Um, because people will say like you, you're so flip floppy, or like you inter- you interrupt so much, and then I'll be like, Do I need two thirty five? I'm gonna cry. Hold oh, on. <laughs> shot. Is it really? <laughs> Give me a second. Oh my um, god, cringe. It's a. I'm on my period. It's a rough time. Um, but uh, I feel like I've 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 scaled the. the the Reddit thread, trying to take in as much as I could. And this is why it's self-harm to go on Stephen's streams. Um, but uh, for me, so what I said about you, what the prescription I gave you is the prescription I should give myself. I should stop going on Stephen's stream. I know. I that's why, that's why yeah. I stopped. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, sure. I should. Um, I can't. Uh, but so I go on, I, I scale the, I scale the Reddit for things to improve. And then I go on the live and I'm like, it's, and then the viewers become my mom. Like, is it enough now? Like, is it good? I'm good now. <laughs> like I'm not evil. Um, Fuck what's happening. And then when I, and then when I feel like I've changed, and that I could be well received. This is what's happening. And I. And I'm not. Um, 
starts this like just a uh, strange um, display of like emotional maladaptive behaviors, uh, which are like you know not taking things seriously, being evasive. Um, you know, I'm like then I'm then I'm like oh I have to perform now. It's like this sort of like um implosion but no one can see that I'm hurting and I'm trying to force them to see that I'm hurting um, and then I'll duck it back in just as fast. I'm extremely chaotic like I'm not, like I I never have like a motive that sticks or like any, like I just go on, have my fun, get off and like repeat the self-harm cycle but also I won't self-abandon too much. I think that sometimes I have like really apt things to say. I'm a smart girl. I think that I can I can keep up a conversation. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Uh, something's happening in your thought process about this. Uh oh, empath time. <laughs> you see? Do you see what I'm talking about? Maybe. Okay. Uh, we started that. I go on to prove that I've internalized the criticism. Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty big defense of your mother right there already. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> you're defining her cutting you down as her as genuine criticism and feedback for you. Mm-hmm. So that's how it was framed. Yeah, but that's not that's not really true. Sure, and I know that that's not true. I know that you know it's true. I know. But how can but, you okay. separate it? <clears throat> well, it's never 100% untrue. Yeah. There's always ambiguity. Like you you and I have both cut people down before. So we you know that when you cut someone down, even if you're cutting them down to protect yourself or or um make yourself feel better or for some other twisted reason, you really do genuinely think the thing you're saying to cut them down with. Right? True. Okay, so we can't completely dismiss um, anything your mother says about you as totally baseless and empty. I think by um, forcing this like uh, false dichotomy, you can kind of just jump back and forth without having to evaluate like the um the ambiguity sure. or sit with the ambiguity of like m- maybe 20 percent of it's genuine feedback and 80 percent is just narcissistic lashing out at you true okay. my problem is i have no boundaries so my my skull this is <laughs> my skull is like open completely still and it's all coming in and then i intern like i can't internalize some of it it's like all of it or none of it yeah, but I think that that, that, that position is inherently defend, t- taken to defend your mother. For sure. D- defining your mother as a monster who just wants to hurt you is a defense of her because it's not true. And so if you put that picture of her up, it's very easy to tear it down and say, oh, you're not really a monster. That's not true. I thought you were a monster, but you're not. And there's a relief that feels good. And then on the other hand, defining her as somebody who's trying to help you by giving you good feedback that'll suit you in life and make you a better person, um, that's not true either. So both kind of end up um, defending her. Is that, are you following me? Am I trying to thought here? Yes, yes. Okay. So already with the premise of I've tried to incorporate um, the feedback from Stephen's community is already kind of there's a lie in there that they're giving you feedback like uh, yeah maybe in some very distant way they are but but not really that's not really what's happening I don't think some people are I don't think so Uh, yeah yeah okay some people are but then there's another lie there as it, the lie is that they actually want you to take the feedback, which I don't think they do. They're just trying to tear you down. Don't there are some people who are giving genuine feedback who genuinely want you to take it. Yeah. 
most people, I don't think, I don't think most of it falls into that category. I think you're right. I think some of them are giving genuine feedback and think they want you to take it, but they don't actually. And then I think some people are um, lashing out at you for other reasons. Okay, so you were saying, I try to incorporate their feedback and become a better person. Then you started crying. And then you said, but I'm also chaotic and I'm smart. And then you sort of just like... Um, how do I, what's going on with this? Why is this not doing infinite you shit? You said I come in, I have my fun. That's not true. You're not, that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about you coming and having fun. You, I think you just went back to a much more guarded like place, I guess is the point I'm trying to make. I stuck my feet out and I was like, I don't know, water's too cold, I'm going back in. Yeah, and so I think it's important to point that out because if people think that your true unguarded innermost self is that you're like, I'm chaotic. It's like, that's not, I don't want people to think that. Sure, but I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it somewhat. That's fine. Tight, or people okay. are gonna come in. Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. You got, um, you, got, you got a taste. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Obviously, there's a place that's very hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right, but. Um, When you guard that, you're also, in a way, signaling to them that uh, that you're not really hurt. Somebody who says, like, I'm chaotic and I'm smart and I'm attractive. Oh, wait. I'm so attractive that, like, it made you stupid. Somebody who's like, saying something like that sounds like somebody that it's okay to be vitriolic toward. Well, they shouldn't, but, yeah, I get that it... Yeah, but the sure. community is already primed to be vitriolic towards orbiters. And... Um, Stephen benefits from that vitriol being directed at you, and so if you if your uh, way of self harming connects perfectly and enables that vitriol, it's like you you it's like connecting two like nine volt batteries together. Like you did, I manually this, load like, these. I must have manually like, loaded all these reactors. Hurting. That's why this is so fucked. I don't think it should be this fucked. The thing you do to protect yourself from people thinking bad things about you, which in part is designed to allow yourself to cope with vitriol being directed at you. Because then you feel like it's not really you. It's at this, like, version of you that you put forward. But some of it is still hitting you. That fits perfectly. That aligns perfectly with... Um, the system's goals of finding orbiters that are that can people can direct vitriol at. And it makes Steven a lot of money. You have a pretty negative view of Steven right now. Uh oh. Um uh yeah. My, the negative view of Steven is that I don't think he can imagine a world that isn't like this or wow. a system that isn't like this. I was just talking to my fiance about that. Yeah. He, he seems to think that someone is going to be dogpiled and he doesn't want it to be him. Wow. Yeah. And I just don't think he trusts anybody, really. He doesn't. Yeah. Um,. I think of myself as the pH test for trust. If you don't trust me, then you probably don't fucking trust anybody. That's kind of how I... <laughs> <laughs> what? And so... You think you're extremely trustworthy? Yeah. Interesting. Holy shit. Not narcissistic so? at all, but okay. No. Really? No. Why not? No. Think about our relationship. No, I do not think that of you. No. I've, I'm, I'm thinking about our relationship. I think that you're, I think that you're chaotic. And I don't think that you're a place I would want to rest. You're not a good rest stop. These things with 50 uranium, they, they must be manually loaded. I trust loaded. you they to were. do certain things. I did manually load these. Why do you think I'm not a good rest stop? Uh-oh. This is going to bother him um, a lot that she said that. <laughs> because I think, I think you're chaotic. 
Like, I don't, I don't think, I think you're chaotic and emotional. Um, and I don't think that's a good place for chaotic, emotional people to take, to take a little rest. So, I have very strong feelings about you. Hatred. What'd you say? Hatred. What are... No, no. But, and those, that, those feelings have led me to, um, open my self to you. The pizza. The leftover pizza. Mm -hmm. But now you're saying that the strength of those feelings is also a liability. If I'm passionate enough to say, yeah, oh, I should, I should, uh. I should leave Steven's orbit because it's, uh, in, for, for, in some, in some way bad for Lav if I stay. Did he leave my orbit for Lav? If you say. Yes. Or, well, I'm so confused. Why? What is the... Because I'm supposed to set a f***ing example for you. Holy shit. You're going to make me kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> no. Max, you're not my Max, you're not my dad! I'm not supposed to just set an example for you. I'm supposed to set an example for me and, and the audience and just people. And you you made it very clear that you think we're self-harming the exact same way. So, like, what? yeah, I, I, I'm... That, that... I'm not saying that this is necessarily abusive, but, like, I left that community so that you could be smart enough to leave that community so that we could... That seems a little weird, but... That, okay, I don't know about that one. It makes you... It's, it's, hard, it's hard for me to, to act very self-protectively. Um, I can have, like, a niggling doubt in the back of my mind that's like... A what? Fuck, I was just going to say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that you're Keeping gonna. Keep it light. No, I don't think. I think there's more to that than uh, just keeping it light. What do you um, think? Um. Well, I think you're trying to derail what I'm saying, and I also think you're trying to um. Trying to find out if if I uh, will put up with you being racist. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. You think I'm a racist? No. I think you're being racist. No. To test me, it's all a test. No, I thought it was just a little funny thing. I think you. I think maybe. I think you need to feel like you're allowed to be racist, though. I feel like I'm allowed to be racist. Okay. In general, um, not just with you. Okay. Well, I meant here. Oh. At the rest stop. Yeah. No, I don't. That's not. That wasn't. I don't care about that. I really okay. was trying to keep it light. Okay. Uh, so I can have a doubt in the back of my mind that's like, this isn't good for me, and I should change the system or leave it. Um, but I could do a lot of mental gymnastics around. I'm, I'm, it's hard to know how I'm feeling. Like I could do a lot of mental gymnastics around that, and like blah blah. But when once you know, once you're saying it and about yourself, okay. it's like pretty should be yeah. crystal clear. What it, 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 I think it just helped me clarify a lot about what was happening. And yeah. Same thing for me. With you. So yeah. And then I was, and then I was able to to then justify that I was different by some by uh, thirty hours of conversations with myself about how different I was than you. Yeah, and uh, yeah. being different from me is a compliment in uh, Steven's world. Yeah. Wow. So if you, it's in, so of course he's going. It was to like a litmus you. test. Yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, but I can you, make it. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can do it when I couldn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, I'm a woman that. who can do it, so I'm. That's even better. Yeah. Except the reason I left is because you can't do it, not because I can't do it. So, oh. my my view of that is pretty different. You're making from it yours. about me. <laughs> yeah. The mind reads. I think uh, both of this is evasive of ourselves. <laughs> I think I think uh, no, both I don't, of I don't, this is us not caretaking ourselves. Yeah, except I left. So I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, but you're I think uh, yeah, it, maybe it's sad that I had to 
that I that I had to um You think I should leave? Yes. I think all of the orbiters should set boundaries that protect themselves. And Which is leaving because he is because Stephen will not Stephen does not foster an existence where he would take feedback and then change his behavior. Yeah. So what you're I've never done that in my entire leave. life. Taking f- Thank you, 24-year-old queen. Please, yes. Talk to me about accepting critical feedback. Yes, queen. Thank you. Yes. Feedback is different from respecting people's boundaries. So there's a, there's a world where Steven could say, I think you're wrong, but I like working with you. And like, sure, fine. I'll change. Like, I won't ban you from the subreddit. I won't ban people from the subreddit. I think it's stupid. But if that's from what I have to... What? I was banned from the subreddit. For a week. When? I, my ban just uh, got lifted. To be clear, so I didn't know she was banned. I guess somebody shot her. Is that what happened? Yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't even, like, I wasn't, I wasn't doing anything. Like, I was commenting on a couple of things, but, like, I nowhere near was, uh, like, I wasn't declaring war, and I was just, like, clarifying. Is he ulting? <laughs> oh, no. Um, Man, these subreddit bands are some serious business, guys. Jesus. And then, and then, uh, Forethought goes, yesterday or two days ago, he's like, Lav, don't go on the subreddit tomorrow. Like, publicly. Holy and then shit. says, like, oh, it's open season on the subreddit tomorrow. Can't you check mod logs? Oh, yeah, true. Link me her account, and I can check, actually. <laughs> Stop. If somebody has a link to a post of their account, I can check the mod logs. Um, you have to link me a post with her shit on it. Don't make me. Don't make me click through. It just. Because uh, I think I don't think I can just hover her name here. Can I? Oh wait, I might be able to. Okay, you're lucky. Let's see. Retarded got removed on October sixteenth, November third. Someone shot this guy. It was a three day ban. Oh, and then she got shot again. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see what post they got shot for? I can't actually check, can I? Okay, but it was... Like, lav. And then yesterday... Double tapped, um, yeah. Yesterday, another one of his mods messaged me about calling ABBA anti-Semitic and said, I know Steven doesn't have the balls to do this, but he sends me the screenshot of, be- of me being locked and loaded to ban from his Discord, like from his community. Um if I were to weaponize my Jewishness again against ABBA. Um, so it's not just Steven. It's like this whole like orchestrated effort that Steven won't take ownership of. Um, it's this like whole thing. Sorry, I, the, I derailed a little bit because that, it was just, it's interesting. It's really interesting. Um, I'm reading RTBA DM'd her. I don't know why he DM'd her, but... I don't think it was, I don't think his message was that bad. I don't think it was bad. I think it was okay. Uh, you think I should leave? <laughs> it's looking pretty good. It's f***ing weird how all your mods are doing shit like this without your permission. Whoa! 
my mods do shit without my guidance, but not without my permission. Like I fully trust my mods to moderate in the ways that they see fit. I trust Forethought to exercise his judgment, even if I disagree with them sometimes. Same thing with RTBA. I trust him to exercise his judgment even if I disagree. They, they don't have to come and sign off with me. Like they have a lot of autonomy to act as they will. How many mods do you have? I think those are the only two. Do I have any other mods besides, well, and then I've got like my, my cabal of YouTube mods but they kind of operate as like an autonomous free state. I don't even know who they what they do. I don't even know how to unmod or mod them. <laughs> so that's the YouTube chat is its own like kind of autonomous free region. Um, and then in DGG, the subreddit, there's like two mods. Um, oh, I guess Ken Dolly and Lemmy Winks can do things, but I don't know if they ever are really banning people, right? Unless somebody's like spamming the N word. Um, oh, and then my Discord is also like an autonomous but I don't, but they're but they're not usually interacting with orbiters. But the Discord is kind of like its whole other world. That's like another, it's like another world. <laughs> um, I can't though. I can. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think um I think I'll leave. But I I think, I think I'll leave. But I don't want to make like a stink of it. That's impossible. Yeah. I, li I do like Steven a lot. Me too. Um, and I like lovable, his message. He's a, he's a yeah. lovable guy. He is. Uh-oh, but I'm an abuser. This is a lot, though. The whole thing's a lot. Hurricane local statement. Wait, you, is there another hurricane right now? coming to me? Tropical storm. What? How is he crying? What's happened? Did I miss something? You don't have to leave. <laughs> okay, hold on. I am so sorry to say this. I don't know if Molina's watching right now. Shh. Is Molina here? Okay, never mind. <laughs> let's just let's just keep watching. Don't be a bitch. There is a um. I don't want to give away my manipulation tactics. Okay, I don't want to give away my abuser tactics. There is a, um, if you're trying to convince somebody to do something that they don't, that they're kind of half in on, that you kind of want them to do, the goal, usually when people are trying to seal the deal, if this is like, kind of like acceptance, and this is like, I'm fully 100% in. The goal of most people is to push them all the way to like, I need you to be fully on board with this. That's like the goal. That's what you wanna push them towards, okay? But if you wanna be really manipulative, the real goal is to have them emotionally roped in enough that you get them right here. And as soon as you know you've got them, you pull back completely and then you go hands off, and then you let them argue the rest of the way so that they feel like they're the ones that are moving themselves this way. And it lets you remove all responsibility from the decision later. So um, a non-manipulative way, let's try, um, let's say that we wanna have sex with somebody without a condom, okay? So the non-manipulative way would be like, I really wanna fuck you without a condom. And they're like, oh, I don't know, it's like, come on, it'll be a lot of fun, it'll feel better, won't it? <sighs> Maybe. Okay, yeah, fine, I guess. Okay, good, you're on board? Okay, cool, let's do it. That would be like the non-manipulative way of doing it, right? The manipulative way of doing it would be like, I think that we should have six other condoms. And they're like, uh, maybe. And you're like, I think it would be like, I think it would be really cool. I think it'd be a lot of fun, right? And they're like, yeah, 
Maybe yeah. And then you're like, or maybe not. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Um, maybe it's too much of a risk. Maybe we're not being responsible right now. And you already hit, you already got them over the hump. And now they're going to fight you on it. They're like, well, hold on. I think, it, no, you were right. I think it will be fun. And you're like, uh, I don't know. And the more you kind of like pull back, not too much, but as long as you've already got them there, they will slingshot themselves all the way to the event. And the, the nice thing about this form of manipulation is that if something bad happens later on, you are unimpeachable. Because now if they're like, fuck, I got uh, herpes, AIDS, I'm pregnant, and they come to you and they're like, fuck, why did, you, why did we fuck that economy? You're like, well, I thought it was a bad idea. I didn't know we should, and, uh, but you really pushed for it. And I say, you know, it's probably not the greatest idea. Like I, I, you know, and now they've got full responsibility. Uh, I'm sorry, that's just like, that's how often do you find it? Never anymore. But that was a, this is a common early 20s, mid 20s Stephen behavior. Um, this is like super easy form of manipulation 101 is you get somebody right over the hump and then you pull back completely and you let them fight the rest of the way so that they're trying to win the argument that you started against themselves. And it makes them feel like they're way more in control of that decision than they actually are because you already mind fucked them to the point that they needed to be. Um, it's just, it's such an effective way of uh, shirking all responsibility for a decision. And it's a really effective way of making the other person think that they're having an idea that is more their own than it actually is. Um, sorry, it's just it was it was really funny for him to pull back there. He might not be doing that, by the way. This I might just be. That was all bullshit that I said, and none of that meant anything. And I'm just a memer. But um, that's kind of what it felt like. But you don't have to leave. Because he just spent this whole time. And I like his well, message. A, Keep in mind, he just spent this whole time saying he literally left my community. He left my community just to get her to leave. And now, once she's on board with it, yeah. lovable guy. Maybe yeah. I should leave. Maybe I should leave. Now that once she gets on board with it, this is a lot, though. The whole thing's a lot. What do you What are you thinking right now? I see you've read How to Win Friends and Influence People. No, 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 no. That's not how to win friends and influence people. That's how to destroy enemies and manipulate people, okay? That was the other book that didn't get published. Wait, did she already say the... Oh, she already said that like, I'm gonna, I should leave, I need to leave. You don't have to leave. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, what is, what's Lab's play from here though? Let's see. Now it's the battle for Lab's soul. We keep losing all the soul battles. You guys notice that? Sneeko fell out of our orbit. We're losing Lav. We lost Nick to the Gripers. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was my Discord update. We're losing too many souls, guys. What would Biden say you to us? You can have the pizza either way. That's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> trying to wind me up to um, push you or to do it for you. More good old mind and, reading. Um, to go get my shotgun from uh, above the fireplace. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no. You absolutely are. <clears throat> Especially with ABBA. I know... Uh, I've never said this publicly, but I know that you know that I hate ABBA. <laughs> oh, no, I don't actually. Oh, Jesus well, Christ! I know that he didn't like. I know that he didn't like you, but I didn't know the extent of it. My all my experience with ABBA has been like in the frame of me. Like I've I've really seen your guys's interactions with each other at all. Okay. Well, I assume you hate ABBA. <laughs> I don't hate ABBA. I think he's. Oh no! Got some I failed mind reads in here. Shortcomings. I don't. I don't say okay. though. You don't hate ABBA, but... Well, it feels like you're trying to get me to, um...
push you out or attack them or tell you that you you need to leave or whatever. Um, uh, you're asking what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. I think that you're doing it, and there, so uh, I think it's important that I um, not do that. Save you. I need to save you. That I not take the bait, and that uh, I tell you, you know, if you you could go on Stephen's stream right after this and uh, defend yourself, argue, go Did right she? back <laughs> into the cycle, plug the nine volt battery back in, take another beating, read the subreddit for another week. Um, I, I'm I'm not expecting a big dramatic boundary setting Are you still friends with Mr. Girl? I don't know. Him. I do, think do, so. Do whatever you think is but best. I'm not sure. It seems like he it seems like he kind of hates me. Or whatever you I can don't do, know. you can't do what you think is best. Um but yeah, I mean you asked what do I think people should do. I think people should set boundaries. And like I was saying, like yeah, Steven um he doesn't have to have a chain that, there was a false dichotomy there where uh, if I'm like um he said he loves you yeah but he's like kind of acting like I'm like an like literally an evil person like, like Shaylin and I set boundaries with each other all the time of like hey hey can you like not do this thing that bothers me just cause it bothers me and it's like if you agree to not do it um like like Shaylin will leave folded up paper towels like on the like she'll use a paper towel for something and then she'll she like feels guilty throwing things out so she'll she'll clean something oh my god me too it's crazy okay so she'll clean something and then she'll just she'll be like well maybe I'll use this later and she'll just leave it like on the counter so then the counter will like have like there'll be folded up little paper towels that are like sort of dirty like like all over the house yeah and I and I'm like can you stop doing it like I want I don't want you to do that can you stop doing that and so she's agreed to not do it but that doesn't mean like she is against it or something so like I think there's a false dichotomy with Steven where it's like he doesn't really have to change his um take feedback or like change his whole approach to moderation he could just be like hey you're like this is making everybody fucking miserable so even if you know you can keep your um philosophy however you want but just like stop banning your orbiters from your subreddit while they're getting dogpiled like that's he could just do that without taking feedback. He so could say, I think you're wrong for asking for this, but I, I still want to work with you. Like, it, 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 it's, um, it, it's smuggling in this, like, lie that the only reason to respect anybody's boundaries is if you think their boundary is objectively and philosophically true. But doesn't, that doesn't make sense. True. But... But yeah, maybe maybe he will never change the way he runs his community. I think that's pro that's probably not true. But he probably won't make a big announcement of it if he does. That's definitely true. And yeah, um, I think people should set boundaries. And I think if the orbiters set boundaries that were healthy for them, uh, it probably everybody would say, "Don't ban me from the subreddit while I'm getting dogpiled." That's what I think people should do. I don't think everybody should leave. I'm not a big fan but, of just I, leaving. Sure, but I also think that Stephen would then, Stephen, what Stephen would say is that he, what he's doing or what this is like for is that like our emotional well-being. Like we can't, if we can't fight everyone, then it just like goes away, and also we're making it worse by fighting people. So he's like trying to like, like he's. he's well, that is that is directly at odds with his explanation that he gave me. Which is that he's afraid that if I were, was able to speak too freely in his subreddit, that I would turn his community against him. Holy shit. So do that you, doesn't... Do you think that he thinks that? I, I just He can't. said that. Yeah, but I can't imagine he like actually thinks that. Because what favor do you have with... Stephen's viewers like th there's no it's not about it's it's not it's like not about like, yeah it's not about me it's it's about his feeling that um that he's on like thin ice coat. no no I, I think, I think he I think he feels like he's on thin ice and that everything can be taken away from him at, at any moment interesting I don't think it, I don't think it has much to do with me. I just think he has an iron grip on the narrative of himself because he feels like. Well, he said he's seen his large chunks of his community turn on him before, 
So that has to have freaked him out in the past. Uh, so I just, th I, like I said, I just think he thinks it's inevitable there are going to be dog piles, and if he ends up on the bottom of one of those dog piles, he could lose his like his like career. So he has to keep feeding the community different Victims. people to dogpile yes. and make sure that when they get dogpiled, they stay on the bottom of the dogpile. I do. I believe that he also thinks like he doesn't want the dogpile to last too long or be unnecessarily painful or psychologically damaging to anyone. But it is. Oh, yeah, like, I guess no, both no, things he can be he, true. He doesn't. He, sort of. He's not. He's not allowing people to DM you threats about you weaponizing your Jewishness but for your own well-being. I, he may think that, but I... What? He just doesn't... I don't think he cares that much. I don't. True. I don't um, really care that much. I... Uh, I don't think he prioritizes it. I think he does care, though. I think that... I think you're gonna get into a thing with your mother here again. Um, don't, <laughs> what? Don't try to convince yourself that Stephen doesn't care about us. Because he does. It's, it's, I think it's way more complicated than that. I don't think it's a driving force in uh, this particular decision because I think he's super guarded. That's how I... The, my narrative is that he is just really defensive and really guarded around this thing, and when he feels threatened... Hey, then, hey yeah, Evil Fossil, back in the house. What is up, my $10 dono brother? Hello. Say hello. Say hello to RTBA in the chat. What is up? like a cornered animal he's not he, then it, him caring about you doesn't matter but that's different from him actually not caring about you I think you're right I should not speak um yeah I don't know how much we want to talk about Steven because we're going to get torn to shreds if we do anymore i think talk about me my ego needs it and i don't want to have to read about it i want to read about it okay fuck fuck lav being emotionally responsible what a fucking loser i think i Wait. want to leave his community but i want to also look strong yes they're still talking about me god yes and like i can withstand the damage Prove yourself. Like resilience. Yes. Resilience is like a big. That's what you need to do. You have to like prove yourself. Resilient. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. I'm one of the boys. I can take a beating. True. Uh, true. Uh. You have to prove yourself worth. Misogyny. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> true. Yes. Because also, I saw when you left what the. The what narrative the, became. Yeah. <laughs> the narrative. You just said you don't want to talk about this, and then you're talking about it again. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know what I want to do, actually. I'm not asking for an apology. I'm just pointing out that you're uh, breaking your own boundaries. No, I don't want to talk about Stephen's life. Oh, okay. You want to talk about his community, though? Yeah. I yes! Feel like yes! I don't think it's about me stuff. still. No, no, that's fine. I just, I just didn't yeah. understand what you meant. Okay, so... Uh, the narrative after I left became that I tried to take over the subreddit and failed. Okay. So I left, but I am desperate for their approval and attention, so I'll probably be back any moment. Okay. Like Lav and all... I'm I think. just kidding. Well, kind of, though. People were just like also happy that you left. Like people were like, "We won, like, we won." Yes, he's gone. That's we, the wicked yeah. witch is dead. Yeah, not good. Dancing on my grave. Yeah. And you're imagining that happening to you. Yeah, I don't think I can handle it. You can't. I, handle have you been handling it well? No. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> I have. Uh, well, I told you, partly using you helped me clarify things a lot. Okay. 
How'd you get emotional over separate bands? I'm talking about Terminal Online. Um, oh, that's what you And mean. then also, I've been in a lot of different systems that all reacted to the exact same way to me. Yeah. So, and like a few years ago, somebody was like, how? They're, they were like, you have a unique talent for getting large of group, large, this is before the cutie review, for getting large groups of people to absolutely hate you. Uh, like for basically no reason. And so I have a very systemic view of what is happening over there. And so I don't, that's why I started calling the orbiters white blood cells. They're, they're compulsively acting in the interest of preserving the system structure. Yeah, yeah true. And so, like, I... I get it. Like, it, it, yeah, it hurts me. Of course it hurts me to see people be like, thank God I never have to listen to his droning voice again. But you like, get it. Talk he gets it, though. But um, I also am like, they're, they're just part of a system that they don't, they can't even begin to think about or understand. I'm sure they could understand it, but they're not. They're not thinking about it. So I think that's how I cope with it. I also just don't care as much. Um, I ha I don't I don't read his subreddit uh, regularly anymore. That's probably good. And I'm just like it just doesn't it just doesn't matter. Uh, everything, especially like if you're banning my fans, you're banning me. You're you're saying you're controlling the narrative. It's like reading Russian state news. True. Like I, you don't have to read it because you know, you know that everything in it might just be a propaganda it's just it's just pro steven propaganda true uh right like the the community itself is being manipulated in like five different ways to just like say good things about him and bad things about orbiters so i already know what it's going to say and so it doesn't so then it doesn't matter what it says yeah i was i was reading all the the pro abba posts a few days ago gross um that Abba's guy? gonna be buddy of the year, blah blah blah, and and then um, and then it was like, I know the hate's gonna come. They're just they're just setting him up so they can tear him down. True. It's, it's just everybody. It's just the same. There's no no one is safe from it. So yeah, I think it's it just started to feel kind of meaningless to me. Yeah. Based. Because it is. So I keep bringing up your mother because of that. Because I, I I know that feeling of like, you know you can't win. You know the deck is stacked against you, but you feel like you could save her and save yourself if you could just figure out the way to be that would let everything let let her like love you and if you could just contort yourself into the right shape. At the end of the day, it's all about Lav's mother. <laughs> yeah, woo yeah. It sucks. Um. <laughs> Why isn't... Why is this having so much of a problem? I don't understand. What's going on with this guy over here? Why did I have to make this so fucking complicated? Uh, I... One, two, three. That fit into all three. Did it over here? Oh, that's why. Oh, I did it like that. Cute. I understand. Um, going back. Yeah? A little bit. Okay, let's back up. To your childhood, or where are we going? How far back? I wasn't trying to provoke you. To, there, um, to leave. Protect me. At least I didn't. I don't think I was. Do you think I was saying that you were intentionally doing that? Um, no. But 
I feel strongly against it, so I had to voice that I was I felt strongly against it. Okay, I think one way to enable you to keep going on his streams and keep participating in his community with no boundaries is for me to suck up all of the anger and indignance and uh, so you don't have to. Oh my god. So I think if I get really mad on his on your behalf and I like lash out at them and, and freak out and get really angry, I think that will that will have like a kind of off gassing effect of making you feel like um like if I if I overstep and I'm too harshly critical, I think that will make you feel actually defensive of Steven in his streams. In his in his um the system. And so I think that, uh, I think there's a way that you were talking about the mods and their messages to you that does, it feels like, uh, it was you or the story was trying to like pull me into doing that. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, that's not right. I don't think it was, but. Okay. You know, when you complain about like your, your boyfriend to, uh, your friend and your friends, like. You've never done that, and you're, not your current boyfriend, but like a, a, any boyfriend. Fiance, yeah. not boyfriend. Okay, you know when your friend complains about their boyfriend to you. Yeah. Okay, and and the more you're like, what the fuck are you doing? You should break up with him. The they're not the more you they can promise you that they're gonna break up with. Him. They're gonna be like, okay, I have a plan. I'm gonna talk to him tomorrow. I swear. And then and then it then it's just like they then they're like, oh, we're going, we're going on a vacation. We're going to Florida. Yeah. Like at night, the conversation never happened. You think they do that so that you can feel and th- so they don't have to? Yeah, so they don't have to sit with the mixed feelings. Interesting. Okay. Wait, are this. Are not connected? With Steven, you can. Uh, there are moments where you feel like everything you thought about him and your relationship and how he treats you was just wrong. True. Where you're like, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm an asshole. Everything, he, he does care about me. Fuck. I brought that up to him the other day. I brought that up to him yesterday because he, I don't know if you saw, but he called me a villain. He called me the villain. Uh, no. Uh, I, 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 somebody mentioned it in my Discord, but I didn't see the clip. Yeah, he said, hi, Sauron. He called me my the villain, son. and then I immediately was like, um, and then tried to, like, catch me in it. And I was like, Steven, I don't understand you, because sometimes when I'm not there, uh, you'll... <laughs> Sorry, I keep... People keep making videos of me, like, throwing my cat, but he's so fucking annoying, I have to. Um, uh, but I told Stephen, I was like, you know, when I'm, I'm watching what you say about me, and you're being really kind, and you're defending me, and you're saying I'm really smart, and I actually am, like, fun to have on these streams, and I'm, I get it, and I'm a, and, you know, I drive views or whatever, and then I get on, and you treat me like shit, and it's flip floppy, and I don't know where I stand. I'm confused. I am the flip. And he was like, "Well, of course, I'm going to defend you when you aren't there." And I was, and I was stumped. I was like, "I didn't, I didn't know." But then he became my mother. <laughs> but it was like, um, it was like weird. It, it was like, it was weird. But anyway, it was like. Uh, Because there are those moments when you're like, or like today he, like, he mess like he'll message me. What did he say? uh, And be like, "Hey, buddy, how's it going?" Like, or like, "You did well last night." And then he'll let Melina go off on me publicly. Let. (laughs) What, bro? I don't control the people around me. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on here? I let her off her um, leash. It's like odd. Bad Mel. I just don't know yeah. where I stand. So then, so then I'm like, so then well, I'm there's... just like, oh, I just need to buck up and and you know get the content rolling. This is fun. I can like rationalize it because it feels safe for a moment. 
Yeah. And then I'm back on and I'm like, why am I doing this? But I'm already there. True. So I have to make it work. Yeah. Or at least that's what it felt last night. And I felt so uncomfortable with it that I decided after last night that I'd at least take a break. For days or a week or two. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry. It's hard. It's hard to not talk about Steven um, as the figurehead of all of this. Oh, yeah. I thought we were done talking about him. Came up again. Because I know it's not just it's not just him. It but is. He's just... It's his fault. He's the leader. At the end of the day, the buck stops with him. I make a lot of excuses for Steven also, yeah. like in my head. Stop doing that. Like constantly. That. He needs to take some we're like, responsibility. He says, he says that we do this like mind rapey thing. But I, what I think why we do the mind rapey thing is because we're like trying to convince ourselves. Me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like what he, like what Melina said we do when we like say that we know Steven or try to empathize with Steven. At least I do. So I don't like completely like devalue him or think that he's like my enemy. Mm -hmm. So I have to like find something to grab onto to rationalize that he can't possibly be like an evil person who hates me. For sure. But just like a hurt person. Yeah, that is. I hurt. Who, I hurt. Please, I just need love. I, don't know. I just need love. Just a little bit of love. Okay, are you saying you don't want to talk about this? I don't know. I don't know. It's All hard right, not to. I'm going to stretch for a second. So, okay. uh, you, I can still hear you, or you can just, uh... What? The milk? You know, think about what just, you want to talk about. Yeah, just think about it. Do, do you feel like I should stop you from talking about this? No, 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 no. no. It feels no. way too good. I just, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much of that boundary I, I don't know what. Oh, Lev. Oh. I don't know how much of that boundary oh, I, I care about. Oh, Lavy oh, Lav. God. Little Lav. <laughs> oh, Lav. Oh, God. I just need to adopt you. Oh. I know what I want and I know what I should want. I want to talk about Steven. But I don't think I should. I'm super curious. I'm just, I just want to know. Has anybody actually beaten this mod in my community? Oh, Proteus City did, right, but you well, did with no biters. Talk about it privately. We don't have to talk with about with two players. That, no. Does that really we can count? Talk about it privately. Okay. Holy Jesus. Um. It's okay. Once I've got these four sciences done, we're about to tear through the rest of this mod pack. Don't worry, guys. Boom, look at him go. Let's see, let's go, 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 go. I did it solo, it took 900 hours. What am I at on my game? 320 hours. <laughs> we'll get there, guys. By 2024 elections, we'll be done. There we go. Yes, look at that, science. Do you think you're ever going back? No. Be firm. Don't give in. Uh, to the orbit? Yeah. yeah. Not unless things change dramatically. Not if the rules don't change. Based. Not if he's not going to protect me from uh, himself. True. And the uh, system is built now. Yes. Hold me in place. Um, I don't know why they, uh, I don't know why the community thinks I'm like so desperate to come back. Oh, no. Because you've lost everything. But yeah, but I'm I'm not. I don't care about streaming. I don't even really like streaming. It, it's like it's like it's like somebody being like you, like that I can have a career, like event organizing. <laughs> I'm like okay. I guess if I fell into it and you're going to pay me a bunch of money and it helps my other careers that I want, I actually want to do, then like sh I guess I'll sure I'll do event organizing. I don't give a fuck. But it's not like that. But it's not. Like, and we're gonna treat you like shit. You're gonna event organize. You're gonna plan like concerts and like weddings and stuff. But also, um, we're gonna like gaslight you and say that you're gaslighting people and make memes making fun of you and dogpile you and lie about your relationship with your girlfriend. And if you say that like Nazis are bad, um fuck you like we're gonna ban your essays about that and put like you have to be complicit Talking about anti-semitism 
Yeah, you have to be complicit in like platforming and growing anti-Semitism and racism in America. And if you're not, then like we're going to shit on you. And then I'm like, okay, well, I guess I don't really want to be an event organizer anymore. If that's like, if those are the rules, like, I, like, no, thank you. And then it's like, oh, so you don't like the you guy. How long do you take to finish a Vanilla Run Effector? I feel like if I played a Vanilla Run Effector, I think I could be done in probably eight hours now at this point. Jesus, Vanilla seems so basic. I would imagine. I who gave you this job? And it's like, no, I like You don't like, need trains I, I or Steven. anything for Vanilla. I, I don't like think you need I solar said, power you know, if you really want to just speed run the I, end, I right? I have very strong, positive feelings about Steven, but like, no, but like, no, what the, why the fuck would I want to do that? It's not, it's not, it's like, it's not, it's, it has nothing to do with what I want to do with my life anyway. I, I don't, like, uh, like I will play. A Have you looked into a space elevator? At all? Side character. I haven't um, on gotten a sitcom for like a while. It. As like part of, of of like a work, you know, professional arrangement, but not if it's like sucks. Why the fuck would I do that? No, absolutely not. It doesn't. It doesn't hit my addictions the same way it hits yours. Yeah. Are still going to St. Centers? Yeah, it should be um, in fifty minutes. It does a little bit. I definitely feel the highs. Yeah. Is there any level of, uh, of upgrades I can get so my robot stop um, crashing in space? Like, what level robot shit do I need to be at? Like, it's at 12. Uh, when you're on top, when you win. Yeah. But, but every victory, every time you win, someone else is being psychologically damaged. So even That's that true. is... Even that is ruined. You're always winning against somebody. It's better if it's somebody outside the community. True. But when it's somebody yeah. you know, and then everybody's like, Brittany Simon's a fucking Nazi, and then you're like, well, I that research is so misleading. Yeah, yeah Proteus, it doesn't I mean have anything. An orgasm, like a kitten dies. Won't like, damage things if they crash. No, if they're thanks, in a you know what? I'm it's just, so weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm out. I don't I don't I don't want to be part of this. Which is why I said I, it's not enough to just unban me. It has to be something that's going to protect all orbiters, or I just don't want to be part of the system. He said that, by the way. Wait, what did I say? I wasn't even listening. I'm sorry. Fuck. Yeah, that makes a little. Um, it does a little bit. I definitely feel the highs. Yeah. Of uh, when you're on top, when you win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but every victory, every time you win someone else is being psychologically damaged jesus true so even That's that is true. even that is ruined you're always winning against somebody it's better if it's somebody outside the community true indeed. but when it's somebody yeah. you know and then everybody's like britney simon's a fucking nazi and then you're like well I didn't if every oh, time is that what you're saying? Max kind of started orgasm, that? Like didn't he kind of start that guys like no thanks you know what i'm just I'm, I'm out. I don't. I don't. I don't want to be part of this. Which is why I said I, it's not enough to just unban me. It has to be something that's going to protect all orbiters, or I just don't want to be part of the system. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That makes so much sense. That's, yeah, I wonder, because you know what I I found interesting is like yeah. Brittany was like down after you. She's like down. Brittany stocks were down. Yeah. Um, and then when my stocks were down, Brittany was really aggressive with me, even though we're like friendly. It like it, the system incentivizes you to be bloodthirsty. Yes. Oh, no. Absolutely. And work. Brittany still hates me. Oh, wait. I just have to do two separate things. Um, that's what I need to do. I just, I think that's so interesting because then, because, because then Steven gets to be mad at how bloodthirsty I am publicly. Yes. Yes. And denounce it. S yes, Stephen. And won't always... uh, and and them won't acknowledge why I'm so bloodthirsty. No, it, it is. Stephen all... is always the good guy saying, yes. "Guys, chill, 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 chill." Yes. Yes. True. I'll bring these people into this thing, pit them against each other, and then to be like, yeah, "Guys, chill, 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 chill." And then the community makes meta jokes about it. Um, so anything that's in this, <laughs> I hate this. If you point out something that is just undeniably true, then the community just absorbs it as an ironic joke. Like the stocks thing, the the fact that there's a stock market of a orbiter um, that's wild guys standing or orbiter social status already is indicative that there's a huge fucking problem in the community of people getting dogpiled. True. It's just proof right there. But it just yeah. becomes like it just becomes a joke. Yeah, and it's like if we yeah. can't we can't find a way to explain this away or deny it, 
effectively we'll just joke about it and then that and then it just becomes like a funny thing and then but so like as a newcomer it's like well no a lot of these things are really fucking stupid like it's actually bad but when when steven does something it's like an mlm yes it's fucking crazy true crazy but actually because the system keeps itself in place because the newcomers are like oh i want my stocks up even aaron even Aaron, this girl who like Poor girl. is in fucking college, another victim, is part of yes. it now. Messaging me like, "Oh, these people are fucking crazy," and then she comes on every day to prove herself, yes. to yes. raise her stocks. This yes. random person, and it, she just yeah. hasn't, she just hasn't had her bad day yet. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, she hasn't crazy. had her bad day yet. That's for to me. answer your question about why I'm doing badly. I woke up this morning. It's coming though. thinking uh what the fuck have i been doing for the last year would it be better if i just never started streaming would my life be better would my back be as fucked up would my career be going better in the way that i want my career to go better do you think you blame Steven's community for how, I mean, you have to, you have to blame it to some extent. No, no, I don't. Like how I, it, bad things have gotten. It's not that I blame them. It's just that I'm, th- I'm, no, I'm talking about myself. Like, did I'm, how bad of a mistake did I, I know that the last couple months of orbiting were probably not a good idea. Um, <laughs> and like, there's other ways it could have gone that, you know, you know, I mean, I'm watch. I, I'm literally watching my alternate self go suck up to Lex Friedman and get in rub shoulders with Ben Shapiro and stay and Steven's gonna Steven is going to launch into the stratosphere of popularity very soon so like there's a huge incentive to stay in the orbit if you know but yeah part of me I just woke up thinking like yeah why am I why don't why was I ever thinking about what these people think of me? True. That's what I think about my fucking audience every day. <laughs> I think I think it felt at first it felt like streaming was a way to reach back to out, league boys to outreach more, but that just becomes clear after a little while of that like oh it's an extremely insular. There's a fucking dome over it, over everything. And like so now, so I, I I don't think it was totally a mistake, but a part of me is just like re- really regretful. And um, I think the conversation I had with uh, uh, Holly Lawford Smith about um, uh, gender stuff and f- radical feminism or gender critical feminism made me like it would be like oh like there's I can I don't know I just have to like change what I'm doing but god it's like a legend that's why, that's why True, I was guys. miserable today do you think you're going to change what you're doing what do you think you're going to do yeah I'm, so I'm reaching out I'm almost exclusively to academics now um, I've hired one of my mods to set up streams for me because um, I just have too much like work to do um, so that's nice and yeah I think I'm going to pivot to um I'll still I'll still talk to like other streamers occasionally, but I want it to be more podcasty. You know? True. Yeah. And the audience for podcasts are smarter. True. They can understand the big I think I need like smarter, more thoughtful audiences the big, in order sexy to not brain. spend ninety nine percent of every conversation um trying to fucking explain the conversation that I'm trying to have to the other person. Totally. It feels like uh, when I look back at the last year, I'm like, what? I'm like, all these people can't literally can't handle the conversations I'm trying to have with them. True. Yeah. They're not smart enough. Um, and like, I see that on the streams too. Like when I watch clips of you uh, on Steven's streams, I'm like, they, they just don't they understand actually you. just can't understand what you're saying. She's too smart. They can't. And, and and they're they're primed to not understand it. Because they don't want to understand Destiny it. Destiny just and pits even them if all they against want to understand it. A lot of times they literally can't understand it. They're not watching to have to think to about educate. themselves or their lives. Yeah, they're, they're just not. watching for drama and no. fun. So I want I want to find my uh, 
my audience, and I don't think uh, that's it. Yeah, I think same thing with me. Um, yeah, because it really isn't, because I don't, I mean, my, I'm starting my whole new, like, um, journey, like, uh, like sex journalism lane. Um, and that's like, not for these people. I was on, I was no. on Chud Logic today yeah. and I was like having do, because he was like talking shit and then I was like, okay, I'll go chase this high. So I did. And I got the high, but it's only you one time. Back, you won him back over? I didn't want him back over. My stocks were up because I beat five. I was on a five v one, and I won. She did. Oh. That is true. So <laughs> you know, and then Chad Logic gets to say, "I don't really want her on," and then he's messaging me like, his viewership went up two hundred percent, and he's like, "Thanks That's for the That's also true. Like, yeah. Do you want to come on? And I'm like, "Not if you don't want me to." And he's like, "No, I think you want you to. I want you to." And then like. Explain screen, how? Like, because usually when people come to her with arguments or issues with her, you guys just have you present the most dog shit fucking arguments. Yeah. I don't really want her here. Like it's just whatever. It's just crazy toxicity. The problem is that she contradicts herself a lot, which is true, and I will defend that to the day. She contradicts herself. She's internally incoherent or inconsistent with her own beliefs, and she's like in the process of like changing up constantly. All of that is true. But it's also true that she's very smart, and I've said that a lot. But the problem is people hear the inconsistent thing and they see all the mistakes she makes and go, oh, well, she must be stupid. And then people go to debate her, and she's constantly doing these like 1v4, 1v5 debates where she's not dumb. Like, if you're gonna call her out, you're gonna need like receipts or something. She wanted to try to stream and it was like four people or five people trying to catch her out, and they couldn't. They had like no arguments, and they just looked silly. But like, yeah, that's, but that, I mean, like you guys drive that narrative too, like, oh, she's dumb, she's, she's not dumb. Um, she's super disagreeable, but like, like you can put her up against like any like twenty of those like fresh and fit Miami girls, and she's gonna run circles around all of them, right? Like, <clears throat> she just says a lot of dumb stuff. Do whatever. And uh, sorry, I forgot where I was going with that. Where was I? Where was I going with that? You're talking about how Chud is a toxic. Liar. No, before that. Before that. Um, you were talking about sex journalism and oh. finding your audience. He was talking. He was talking about how like oh. I was still like a whore. Basically. Oh, I forgot the green. Like, he was talking about how I was. I was still like a whore. And I was still going to be naked on the internet, even though it was a completely different sense. Had nothing to do with like the sex work or that I, the criticism of sex work I had before. And I was like, I'm, I'm explaining to you how me, like journalistically explaining how I'm getting a yoni steam and what that means, where the history of it, all of it. I'm having to explain to this person how that's different than fucking my face with a dildo with Based. pigtails in. Like, I'm having to explain this to this person. And I was just like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, this is not my audience. Like, none of these people, I even want to buy it, right? Like, I don't want any of these people to maybe see me vulnerable. Wait, did this- Like, why am I here? Like, I don't, this doesn't further my career. I don't want any of these people to watch my content. Oh. They're not going to. I'm only here for the high and low. Like, I'm only here for the addiction. Um. Oh, she's like that one song, Holy Grail. I think it's a, I think it's an important observation that you're, and I, are addicted to the low, as well as the high. Yeah. Who's addicted yeah. to the low? Really? That's that's one of those statements. People keep being like, "Why do you? Why are you posting?" In there are sometimes people make statements. <sighs> There are statements that, no, fuck, I can't put this into words because I can't think of anything clever off the top of my head. Sometimes there are statements that are, they sound ambiguous and then when they're further expanded upon, they're incredibly insightful. Um, but other times there are statements that sound insightful, but they're like, they're not really. They're just like a thing that you say. And sometimes people do that and it drives me crazy. Like somebody can be like, um, like, like a good relationship is like a bedroom and it could be like a bedroom is like a place where you feel safe but like you have to take care of it otherwise it'll become messy or something like that and sometimes we outgrow our bedrooms and we go to like that might be like a clever or several things and then sometimes people say like love is a lot like an insect and you're like what do you mean by love is like an insect and you're like if you step on it hard enough all of the vulnerabilities are exposed and it's like Okay, I guess. <laughs> like, 
I don't know if I learned anything there, but like, yeah, you know, I don't know. We're addicted to the highs and the lows. Are people really ever addicted to the lows? I don't think that's, I don't know if that's true, but whatever. Steven's Maybe. subreddit, like they hate you, just post in your subreddit. That's a really good question. That's a really, really good question. I didn't really have an answer, so I just tried to stop <laughs> thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. No. Yeah, the low. Wait, what's happening here? The low makes the highs better. I don't. And it also is I just don't think like. That's true. Uh, I don't think that's true. Yeah, I think everyone's sort the of. The lows make the highs better. To, Hell no. I mean, there's a reason why we take stake of negative criticism more than. Know, positive affirmation. I would just want to be high all the time, baby. It becomes like it's just very like ego, egoistic. Like just like think about it for drugs. Has anybody ever thinking like God? You know what makes drinking real good? Hangovers. I just I don't think that being drunk would be as good if you didn't get massive fucking hangovers every now and then. It's like no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that's true. going and reading what everyone thinks about you. Not good. Okay. I think this whole online shit, pretty. I gotta say, someone has lurked and viewed for years. It's insane to see your name brought up to Mr. Girl and for it to be react and aid. <laughs> Straight or aid. You're next up on the chopping block, okay? Don't ride too high right now, okay? Because you're moments away from being the next victim of my community or of me directly. E or Bad. both. Bad. <laughs> yeah. Holy grail. Um, um, oh, I got that shot. But also, yeah. Music it's, video. It's hard because for me, also, and I don't know if you feel this way, it seems like you're trying to do, I like, you know, big, big things, which is great. A lot of, I mean, I've been on the internet since I was 16 and like homeless and friendless, and this is like my, this is my home. Like this is, I go online cause I don't have much else. So if I take away the only thing that I have, even though it hurts me so bad. I think the lows do make the highs better. Humans are highly adaptable and constant highs aren't a satisfying problem. Listen, if I went on a 100 game win streak on league, I'd endure that more than 50 wins and 50 losses. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Like who do, what do I have? Who do I have? You know what I mean? Holy grail. And especially I put all this work into building, you know, I have like almost a million followers on TikTok. I've like put in all this work for years. I, I quit college to pursue all these things and to be this, per like, what do I, I will have wasted six years if I do what's right and get offline <laughs> and I'll have nothing. I won't, I'll, I won't have friends. I won't have a career. I'll have nothing. I'll have to rebuild from the ground up. Not cool. Not good. Safe. Because the internet is so controllable. You would have yourself. Oh, no, but, but, but that's what I mean. Like, it's so, it's, the internet is also like, the safety, especially for someone like me who does this like dance of like, look at me, but don't touch me. Like this is yeah. the perfect place for me. Like I can't, I can exist exactly how I want to in this space. It's taking away my, the only control I have in my life. Steven made this observation as well, but I think your cat does want to be touched. Jesus, true. And I think you do too. As scary as it is. I'm scared. think so. I mean, I've done the same thing that you've done where like I've just entered communities in real life 
and been like just thrown out. Like friend groups have left me without so much as a goodbye. Like I've made groups of people hate me in real life and it hurts less online. If I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna do in person, it might as well be controllable. I might as well be able to log off. It's okay. I feel like this is some Okay, I'm I might be I'm gonna be honest, I might be self reporting really hard here, okay? Why is this having so much trouble? Um I might be self reporting really hard here. Um but this feels like this feels a little bit like anime main character syndrome. Like, does anybody does anybody really have these feelings? Sometimes I enter communities and I fight so hard they kick me out, but I think deep down I like it because it keeps me safe. And I know that if they reject me for the things that I choose to do, they won't reject me for the things that I can't control. And it's how I keep myself safe. Like that, like, do people really do this? Is this like a thing that people, maybe people do this. I don't know. I, maybe I might just not have the emotional depth required. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I don't know, maybe not. I might just be a simple-minded loser, it's possible. 